Hey everyone, today I'm going to be talking about different tire patterns that you find on a vehicle. Now you might be wondering why I'm zoomed in on this car. Just because it's a cool entry point to the video. So let's get started with our first type of tire. The first type of tire we have here is called a symmetrical tire. Symmetrical meaning that it is the same on both sides, no matter how you look at it. Now, if we imagine we cut this tire right down the middle, it would literally have the same pattern on both the sides, like literally. You see this notch right here? You'll see this exact same notch on the other side. Now granted, they're going the opposite way, but if I flip this tire, which I'll just do right now, that notch is now facing downwards, just how it was, and that one's facing upwards. So that's our symmetrical tire. Don't have to go that much more into it. The only difference with this uh, is that it does not matter which way you mount it. You can mount it with this side facing outwards. You can mount it with this side facing outwards. It will not make a difference. The only difference you have on this type of tire, which is a truck tire, is the fact that you have white lettering. So if you like the white lettering, cool, mount it with this side out. If you don't, cool, mount it with that side out. Here is another example of a symmetrical tire. As you can see, besides this, this is just a fancy thing the manufacturer put uh, to show you the tire size. But again, if you look at both sides, hi rock, bye rock. Sorry, got distracted. Uh, if you look at both sides, you have the same pattern. Uh, and I think one of the most convenient things about a symmetrical tire is the fact that you can mount it onto the wheel either way. It doesn't matter, it doesn't make a difference, so you can't really mess up. So that's one advantage of a symmetrical tire. And that leads me to my next type of tire. Yeah! The asymmetrical tire. So, the asymmetrical tire is unique because it is not a directional tire, which I will be talking about here right after this, but it is a tire with a pattern that's not really the same on both sides. There is a pattern, right? So there's a pattern on this side, there's a pattern on that side, but if you split it down the middle like you would on a symmetrical tire, it is completely different. The most notable thing about this type of tire is that you have it labeled you have it, oh, my gimbal's acting up, but where is the outside? Where does it say outside? You have a labeled outside and inside, right there. So this side of the tire on the sidewall says outside, and on the other side, it would say inside somewhere if I could find it. I planned this video out very well, as you can see. Inside, I found it, all right? So, on an asymmetrical tire, it doesn't really matter where you place it on the car, but it is important that you mount the outside tire on the outside or the face side of the wheel and the inside of the tire on the back side of the wheel. Uh, advantages and disadvantages of the asymmetrical tire, it's really just meant for uh, different purposes. You might have one side that's uh, more for, for performance and you might have the other side that's more for like all season usability. Which one is better? I would say more matters on the brand. Usually when I see a asymmetrical tire I find it to be more of a high performance type of tire. As you can see this is a Michelin Pilot Sport uh, AS3 Plus which is a great tire. And then the symmetrical tires are usually found to be a little bit on the cheaper side, the more generic type use you would see in a normal car. So asymmetrical, you split it down the middle, it's different on both sides. However, it doesn't matter where you put it on the car, you can go on all four corners as long as you've got the outside and the inside. Here is another very poor example of an uh, asymmetrical tire. Don't know why my gimbal's acting up. But I say very poor because you can see all that inner tire wear. Uh, shake crazy on that. What does that mean? But uh, 
Again, if I split this in the middle, there's a different design on this side and on that side, even though it's very hard to tell. But you can even see in this, right? On the left side of this, you have a little wave going up. You don't have that same wave going up on the other side, or I should say downwards on the other side. That'll make it a symmetrical tire. And on this tire, I'm sure I have an outside and an inside as well. If I find, look for it. Yep, right here. You got the outside labeling. And you have the inside labeling on the other side. That leads me to the last type of tire, which is a directional tire. And if you couldn't tell by the name, it is called a directional tire because the tire treads go all in towards one direction. In this case, we're going forward, obviously, uh, because this is the front of the rim and we're going that way. Actually, that wouldn't make a difference, but you get my hint. It's pointing that way. The directional tire, it doesn't matter which way you mount it. So it could be mounted uh, with this sidewall facing outwards or the other sidewall facing outwards. Because what determines the way you mount it is the positioning on the car. For example, because this tire is mounted on this, uh, like this way, this tire would have to go on the driver's side of the vehicle. Let's see if I could give an example why. As you can see, when this tire is on the driver's side of the vehicle, you have the threads uh, all facing towards the front. We drive the car forward most of the time, so this is the correct way of mounting this tire. However, if I put this tire on the other side of the vehicle, you'll see that the threads are going towards the rear of the vehicle or pointing towards the rear of the vehicle, and that is incorrect. This tire actually will not perform how it's supposed to if it is mounted this way, because when they designed this tire, it was meant to be obviously facing forward. So you have two options, either one, you put this on the other side of the vehicle towards the back, or if that back driver's side tire is already facing forward and you have three tires that are mounted this way, you would have to dismount this tire, flip it over and remount it for it to be facing the correct way. This is important to know because when you're doing a rotation, you have to make sure that this stays on the driver's side. Obviously, if you see here, if you do like a forward cross or a rearward cross where you took that back uh, driver's side tire and put it to the front passenger side tire, you now have this facing incorrectly. So that is why it's important to know the difference between symmetrical, asymmetrical, and especially directional when it comes to doing tire rotations. So to recap, symmetrical, you can mount up either way you want. Asymmetrical, you have to make sure that the side labeled outside is actually on the outside. And directional, what determines the mounting is where the rim is gonna be placed on the vehicle. If you wanted this to be on the passenger side, you would mount it the opposite way so the tire threads would be pointing forward. And if it's gonna be on the driver's side, this would be the correct way of mounting it because on the driver's side, this would be flipped. Hope that clears some confusion up and it hopes, I hope this video helps you out with your lab if you are my student. If there's any questions, please feel free to comment them below or ask me in class again if you are my student. And thanks for watching. If you guessed asymmetrical, you are absolutely incorrect. I'm just kidding. You are correct if you guessed asymmetrical. The reason is, again, even though they look very similar, if you look on this side, you got this little pattern where this goes up. You got a line right here. On this side, you have this that goes all the way through with like a weird little line pattern over there. Also, if you see, this is a Barum tire from Discount Tire. A little bit on the cheaper side, but it works well for my purpose. Right here. It says outside, so that's another giveaway. If you ever have a tire that says like an outside inside, it's an asymmetrical tire. <laughs>